such an amazing time for me because my, my faith is being tested and being increased. Um, I'm getting to spend a lot more time with God and he is taking me through my journey of, of being holistically completely healed. Um, I mean, many of you know, I have been infected with HIV back in August, and if you didn't, then, you know, whatever, or not whatever, but here you go, <laughs> you know now, um, but I want to, I, I want to <sighs> just share with you that, and is, this is for anybody who, you know, has this disease, or it's not called any, a disease anymore, it's called any, an infection that, you know, it's not over. It's not over. Um, my first response was to fight. <laughs> um, actually, my first response was to repent. <laughs> that was my first response. I totally cried out to God. And, you know, I, I'm, I, I'm totally, and still am totally deserving of death. You know, I deserve to die. I do. That's what the wages of sin is. Um, there's a scripture where it says, whenever sin is fully developed, it gives birth to death. And that's that's my, my wage. That's what I deserve. But <sighs> this Jesus, <laughs> this Son of God, He's amazing. And I know without a, a shadow of doubt that I will be healed of this disease. And whenever that happens, I will be in a position of not only being healed from the disease, but being holistically healed, emotionally healed, uh, mentally healed. And I'm already in a position of, for the rest of my days, even if it, the healing doesn't happen, that's, I mean, I have no doubt that I'm going to be healed, but let's say God goes another direction. Let's say I die from disease and he brings me back to life. Whatever direction it is, I know that for the rest of my days, I am going to serve the Lord throughout the rest of my days. And... It has given me a, a heightened level of, of spiritual awareness. Um, the spirits that have been tagging themselves um, around me and wherever I go. And no more. No more. And they, they're mad. Oh, they're so mad because since the infection, I've been just seeking God like super hard. Like I have a um, tunnel vision. I've been having it since I was a kid. I mean, you can ask all my family. Once I get fixated on something, 
I go full blown. It's that's it. That's all I want to do. And the enemy knew that, and he tried to to infiltrate my mind at, at, at a, as a young boy to be um, um, same sex attracted because he knew that if my mind was set on it, I'm going after it. Um, but God gave me that so that I could seek him and seek holiness and seek righteousness in that way, not sin. And so now that I have flipped the script through, G, through, through the grace of Jesus, he is very upset. He's very upset. He's been attacking my mind a lot. Um, I had, <laughs> I've had, mm, I've had these anxiety attacks that, and you can ask anyone who's who's suffered from a panic attack, a nervous breakdown, or an anxiety attack, and they'll tell you that they feel like they're dying. I mean, several times I felt like I was dying. Um, but it's all part of God's process of healing me. Um, because now I know that I, I've actually been suffering from anxiety my whole life. Um, given the track record of how my life has played out, I've been anxious about a lot of things. And God wants to heal me from anxiety. Uh, along with several other things that I'm seeking healing from. So, I I guess I'll, I'll end this by saying, God wants me completely healed. He doesn't want just, he just, he doesn't just want to heal me from HIV, AIDS, or, you know, a disease. I mean, that is so beneath him. Um, in fact, he allowed me to become infected with this uh, virus so that I can see that I'm not in, uh, invincible in my own strength or in my own decisions, that every decision that I make needs to be based solely on my, my Christ walk. Um, it, it needs to give him glory. There's a, there's a scripture that says, let me find it real quick. And I think uh, scripture is in John. And it says, um, let me find it. Okay, here it is. Oh, well, I thought I had it. But basically the scripture is saying that Oh, that, there it is. I know where it's at. Okay, it's um, on my page because I posted it on Facebook. My socks. I was about to put them on. Um, but the scripture talks about the, the battlefield of the mind, basically. Um, and here it is. Philippians 4.8. It says, finally, brothers and uh, sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. When you go to sleep, oh, that's, that's what I'm saying now. When I go to sleep, I need to put on the full armor of God, which is Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. But back to Philippians 4, 8, those should be, those should rule my, my thought, my thinking, my, my thought process, my mind, those, Philippians 4, 8. And if there's anything that tries to exalt itself, um, thoughts that try tries to my own personal thoughts or, you know, thoughts from, you know, these evil spirits that try to surround me. I know they're around me, you know, um, that tries to exalt itself against this, the, the Holy Scripture. Um, I know how to cast it down. I know how to redirect my thoughts. And God is teaching me how to to what Exodus 14, 14 says, to, to stand still be, and, 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 and be, be at peace and let the Lord fight my, my battles. Um, when, I, when I got the infection, I tried to, well, at first, and, you know, I guess at the same time, simultaneously, I was trying to fight it as well as um, asking God to fight it too, but God, he keeps telling me, 
just be still. I got this. I got this. I have a master plan for your life. And so, um, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. I know I'm probably over time, but um, just keep keep praying um, for me. Um, these your 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 prayers are being answered. I can feel them. I can feel peace. Um, I'm the anxiety is settling like very drastically. And I'm excited. I'm excited for my future. I'm excited for moving forward, pressing towards the mark. I'm excited. Um, if you have any questions, whatever, you can you know, leave a comment or whatever. But I'll be posting more videos soon. And again, thank you to all of you who, out of your pure genuineness and love, prayed for me, prayed for healing, and, and really sought after God for my sanity. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really, I really appreciate that. And God bless. Love you. To all.